so welcome back to another episode of bloom into you now we are nearing the end of the series unfortunately i think this is episode 11 now that we're up to and in the previous episode we saw koyomi was that her name she finished the script and she pretty much guessed a lot of the characters really really well especially toko she's kind of scary when it comes to that you know when it comes to observing and reading characters and writing characters as well so that was really cool to see and we saw some changes in both you and Toko, especially you. We saw how she changes her or changed her perspective on Toko. And she is kind of afraid of pursuing anything. She's kind of afraid of taking the initiative. So I wonder how that's going to end up developing. I wonder if when you eventually takes the initiative, what's going to happen with Toko, you know? Um, is she gonna like that? Is she not gonna like that? Because Toko did entice you to take the initiative, right? Probably knowing full well that that could, could lead to something. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Also, I had a theory that maybe Toko is using you as more of a outlet for her emotions. Because she knows that you wouldn't be faced by it. At least in the past. But now, it feels like you might be becoming more and more affected by whatever Toko says just because of how much inve how invested she's becoming in you and how her relationship and her feelings are growing for you right or sorry for Toko sorry um so that's interesting to see I wonder how that's gonna end up developing and I wonder what the actual reason is or <laughs> I'm wondering what the actual reason is for Toko to not want you to fall in love with her so that's gonna be interesting to see and we also found at the very end we saw a short scene of Toko and her sister and what actually happened to it or to her. So now it's, I'm guessing, we're going to be seeing a bit more of her sister in this episode maybe or her past or at least some of the motivations behind her wanting to become her sister. Which I did say that there might be a pretty big distinction, at least in my mind, between becoming like someone and becoming someone. And Toko said that I am going to become my sister, not I'm going to become like my sister, which I'm pretty sure is intentionally written just so we know that it's way more severe than it should be. So let's see where we go from this. So if you want to watch this, Uncut and Umbra, it's going to be on my Patreon, which is down in the description. And without further ado, let's go into Bloom Into You, episode 11. おはようございます。かなさん、来てくれてありがとうね。よろしくお願いします。小読みも止まっていけばいいのに。私はいいよ、かよいで。おはようございます。うす。うす。ずらったわね。あ、いいか。じゃあ、荷物置いてから生徒
。なんか違和感ある。そこだね。どこが引っかかってるのか自分でもよくわからないけど。家族やクラスメイトと違って、恋人って自分で決めて一緒にいた相手なんだから、最後に恋人を選ぶのは、まあ、納得いくと思うけど。うん。This is really interesting. もし変えるなら、早めに行ってくれると助かるかなあ,あすみません。頼みますよ、先生。<笑>うるさいなこうして、合宿は特に大きく盛り上がるでもなく、ああかといって、全然身が入らないということもなく、学校に2泊も、生徒会メンバーだけで合宿するという。そわそわした空気をなんとなく感じながら予定通りのスケジュールをこなして一日目は終わっていったうん疲れたお疲れ様でしたあもうこんな時間かお風呂入らないと時間短いから急がなきゃですねさやかお風呂行くよあ,あ、うん。お風呂って。ああ、that's cool. That's cool. 私入っていいの What, don't wanna interrupt? いや、私だってこれまで普通に女湯だとか、女子更衣室だとか入っていたわけで。同性の裸にいちいち何とも思わないけれど、トークに対して何とも思わない自信はない。<笑>というか。<笑> Yeah, yeah, that's your issue. I k i m a t y o so I go higher. Look at that, a sugar cut. Yeah, demo. Utariki, the high does it in the way. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> Aww. So t h e She looked at her for a second, man. No hesitation. Senpai, that's it. Nani, tell it in this car? Yeah, but not a what in a sasugi show. At a car, Gasikotoka, Nani, the mascara. Call you know what Tamero and I know what I see. Yeah, Tagri, I time got half this in my knee. Sente Oats and Kagi. Don't make me censor anything. Thank you. Not on I. Senpai, you mirror it no more. Senpai, you mirror no more. O Taki. Yep, here she is. She stole a sneak. Okay, you're from the EDS. That's still a wild concept to me, even though I've seen it in so many anime. I've never been to like a shared bath. Yeah, I do. この歌詞は決してそんな下心で企画したんじゃないんだから。あれ、そうだばだ。欲しい気持ちは。え、メアム、メアム。欲しくて。アイザラピエル。すごい。That's cute. That's really cute. 欲しくって言ってもさ、男部屋は虚しいよな。そうだね。女子部屋はどんな話してんのかな。I'll be playing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, what did, what did Maki imagine? Ah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd be like、uh, this guy, Dojima. Is that his name? I'm just playing games. Yeah, I think this is like the second time we've seen it. Cute. Ten PM. <laughs> you with her hair down is really cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do 
私は小さい電気つけとく派。私は小さい電気つけとく派。私は小さい電気つけとく派。私は小さい電気つけとく派。私は小さい電気つけとく派。私は小さい電気つけとく派。私は小さい電気つけとく派。私は小さい電気つけ
分かった七海さんはよく働くな私がやりたいって言い出したことですから生徒会長っていうのはもっと人を動かして自分はのんきにしてるもんだと思ってたよあ,あ,あの一田谷君おっそれは、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Awkward, I feel like he knows what to talk about and what not to talk about. Maybe it's also because he's older. Ah, oh, that's interesting because Nanami wants to be as, or Nanami Toko wants to be as close or like as similar to her sister as she can be. But right now, Yuki feels like he's alluding to the fact that maybe her sister was not like this, that she was way not this uptight, but、uh, not this perfect, but more aloof, right? Interesting. Oh, Maki. リコ先生と一ヶ谷さんってさ、な、仲良さそうだよね。どういう関係なのかな。You have no idea. No idea. 気になるよな。一ヶ谷さん。Yeah, directly asking. なんだ。リコ先生とはどういう関係なんですか。Directly in front of both of us. はあ。劇団仲間だって言ったでしょ。何も面白がらないよな。Yo, Saya, no, Saya's like, oh, Saya, Saya か。大体。俺彼女いるし。えー、なんだ。アホか。That's cute. That's, that feels pretty realistic. A realistic exchange. No over the top awkwardness and stuff like that.、Mm, here she goes. She's gonna ask him. Yeah. Let's see it. I'm interested. What's up? Hmm? さっきの話気になって話生徒会長がどうとかって姉は生徒会ではどんな人だったんですかそうだなあいつには散々こき使われたよ生徒会の仕事は俺と他の役員に任せっきりでさそのくせ演説なんかのおいしいところは決めるから実態を知らないやつからは会長さんかっこいいとか言われて。ああ。あいつの夏休みの課題が終わらなくて、役員総出で。筆跡を真似したり、ミオが間違えそうなところをわざと間違えたり。ああ。大変だったけど。<笑>面白かったな。俺もみんなも振り回されてばっかりだったのに。不思議とみんなあいつのことが好きだった。うん、私が知ってる姉はなんていうか。何でも自分で完璧にこなせて憧れでしたそんな姉の姿は知らなかった<笑>そっかあれで案外妹の前じゃ見え張ってたのかな俺にはに完璧なミオなんて想像もつかない君の方が立派に生徒会長してるよ That's gonna sting. That's gonna leave a mark. Oof, 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 oof. That's, a, that's hard. That's gonna be a hard pill to swallow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, let, let me keep watching. I don't wanna. It's intense. Let me keep watching. Don't say it. Don't say it. Shit. Is that, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It can be both. <laughs> Don't get too depressed over it, Toko. Riko sensei, arigato gozaimas. Riko sensei, ski. Hako zaki sensei de sho? Kontu wa watashi janakte, Miyako kara no sashi. Ah, cute. Okay, but 
I feel like why I say is it a good or a bad thing? I'm not saying to from him, from Yuki. I feel like from Yuki it's just an observation. It's not a bad nor a good thing. But I'm saying for Toko, is it gonna is she gonna take it positively or not? Because I feel like it is a positive thing. I feel like people should be different and unique, right? And that's what it makes everyone special. But the thing is, Toko doesn't want to be different. She wants to be just like her sister, or just she wants to be her sister. So, uh, please take it well. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone? Are you Zelda? Or who says it? It's like the king of Hyrule. I don't know who it is. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh. Oh, it feels like she isn't taking it too harshly. Yeah. だけど、どこまで許されるんだろう。その優しさを使い尽くしてしまうのが怖い。うん。すごいいっぱいだね、花火。どれにしようかな。うん。She どんどん消費しないと終わらねえぞ。別に全部やる必要ないんじゃないの。いやいや、花火は全部一気にバーってやってこそ花火しちゃう。おお。よし。This looks like so much fun. Man, this is like a core moment. Something you would remember for your, the entire life. This is so cute. <laughs> they're not far off, they're high schoolers. That's like almost the same thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are so relatable. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> あ、ひざたうちと最後まで行くの結構難しいな。静かに静かに。どうかしたの別に。しなうす。一ヶ谷さんと何か話してたの this reminds me of the play. That they're doing. So. I feel like that's like the obvious connection, but still.
Already? Hmm. <sighs> okay, so... Oh, man, what... <sighs> A really great episode once again, man. I love these episodes. That's so interesting because... At first, obviously, it was Toko who we were... Sorry, who we were comparing to the girl from the play, right? But now we can see that her sister was very much like that as well, even though Toko thought that her sister was just this, like, perfect person who everyone, like, it wasn't just a fact that she was perfect. Everyone knew her as this perfect person. That's what Toko thought. But now she's seeing that she was just a human. She was just trying to be a good influence, I'm guessing, for her sister. So she was not, like, showing her, I wouldn't say bad sides, because they aren't bad sides, but some of her, like, more quirky or less perfect sides, I should say. Right? She was trying to just look really good as a sister, as an idol, you know? And as you do, as you do, as an older sibling, right? You try to look as good as you can for your siblings. It's not even putting up a farce or anything like that. I feel like it's just, you know, trying not to disappoint your siblings because they think you're, like, the omnipotent god or something like that, right? So... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think from this information, I don't think Mia was trying to, was like putting on a farce in front of, or like, I don't think she was necessarily playing a character. She was just being a good older sister, right? That's what it feels like to me. So that, I feel like, created a wrong image of Mia in Toko's mind. And now she thought that she needs to be just like her sister or the image of her sister, which is perfect, which is without any flaws, right? Because that's how Mia looks to her. So that's interesting, when in fact Mio seemed like she was just a normal girl who was goofing around, who was, you know, who had some great friends who helped her out. She seemed like she was a fun person to hang out with, everyone liked her, so that's interesting. I wonder what kind of change that's gonna, um, you know, entail in Toko. So I guess we'll find that out in future episodes, man. Oh, that's so interesting. Also, we saw you being looking at Sayaka and Toko at the end all pouty so that's good and we saw th that scene with them in the room and them all being like thank god there's one of us here that's gonna stop the other you know <laughs> because otherwise things could get pretty heated but to be fair I don't think Sayaka like from what we know Sayaka so far has been the one that respects Toko's boundaries the most. She always is like, you know what? I am not going to approach her any more than she would ap approach me or that she wouldn't let me. I'm not going to initiate anything. I'm just gonna get as close as she allows me to get, and that's it, right? So I don't think to uh, I don't think Saika would actually attempt anything, even if they were alone. And obviously, I don't think Toko would either on Saika. So. Yeah, the Toko Yu pair are the one that's more concerning, you know. But anyways, that was really, really cute, though. Also, the boys seemed like they were just the boys. You know, just playing games, reading a book, nothing much, and then going to sleep. That's basically all, right? Saying a few words every now and again, and that's it. But anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.